Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC Part 1 Isle of Armor allows us to use Max Soup to give certain Pokemon the Gigantamax ability. And amongst those Pokemon is Blastoise and Venusaur, which we can choose one of those in the main storyline. However, we can also capture them in a raid den, which is always a good feeling. First things first, you want to head to the Fields of Honor station at the very beginning of the DLC. And we're going to go straight ahead and just follow the beach straight down here. And you can see that island in the distance. That is where we're heading now. On this island, of course, is the den for Gigantamax Blastoise. And if you've done any sort of raid den manipulation with Pokemon Sword and Shield, this is going to be an absolute breeze. But we're just going to force spawn the purple beam, which is the rare encounter table for that den. So you can see here, we have the den. First thing you want to do is go to your options and you want to change your tech speed to slow normal if you've got a quick quick response time make it slow if you want to be 100 certain and then you want to turn auto save off you then want to do a hard save in front of the den you need a wishing piece all you need to do is throw that wishing piece in but before you do when it says would you like to save your adventure so far when you press yes a beam will appear. Now you want to press home as fast as you can as soon as you see that beam because potentially it's going to be pink, which is not what we want. So when it's a pink beam, you want to close the game and go back to your hard save and repeat this process until you get a purple. So you see the pink, press home, close the game, and we're going to keep doing this until we spawn that rare purple beam. And that's what we wanted. The purple beam, you can tell it's going to be purple. It's usually delayed longer than the pink beam. But just to be safe, make sure you always press home as soon as you see the beam. I mean, I've done this so many times. I just knew that that delayed response was definitely the purple beam. Now that we have the purple beam, we want to check which Pokemon we have. It's not Blastoise easy fix i mean it's easy to change the pokemon however how many times you're gonna have to do it is well we don't know invite others do not do this online by the way make sure you're offline when you do this you don't want to be letting everyone know you're doing raid after raid and when they go to join the raid there's no raid to be had go to system settings system date and time and just flick it one day forward home home back into the game b a to quit now essentially this tells the game that we've been waiting for other players to join rodon are you serious we've been waiting for 24 hours for players to join and that changes the the pokemon so we check we get the new watts. That's how you know you've done it correctly. And again, not Blastoise. So continue to do that. Invite others. Wait till it starts to search before you press home. Now we press home. Settings, date and time. And keep flicking it one day forward until we you get the Gigantamax Blastoise shadow. We'll see you when we get it. And that is the shadow for Gigantamax Blastoise. Now that took me about two months of skipping. So it was by no means fast. However, a lot faster than if you didn't use the Raid Den manipulation, skipping Pokemon and changing the Pokemon with the date. So let's go in and have a look at our big old shell boy. over the shoulder just keeps the shell towards us is that to 
let off those cannons. Okay, so we've taken Blastoise down. And I want to get this bad boy in a dive ball. I'm so happy we can catch this in the wild. So, so happy. Max mushrooms are awesome. I get it. We can give the Gigantamax ability to, you know, our, our Squirtle, that shiny that we can evolve into Blastoise and make our shiny Gigantamax Blastoise. But I just love being able to encounter and capture one in the wild. It's awesome. Three large candies, three extra large, three Dynamax candies, some Armorite Ore, Pearl. Oh, all the good stuff. Nice. So that's Gigantamax Blastoise. That's how we're going to get him. Let's head over to Gigantamax Venusaur. Very similar. We'll just show you the den, go through the method again on how to spawn the purple beam, and we'll go from there. Okay, now for Gigantamax Venusaur, we're going to start at the dojo and we're going to head through the soothing wetlands here on the map. So I'll just show you how to get there straight from the dojo. So straight down here through the soothing wetlands. I don't know what's so soothing about it, but hey, it's a cool name. And we're going to come right down to the end. Just avoid all these wild mons. And everyone's probably already been down here if you've done any sort of exploring into the forest of focus. Heading around to the right, don't cross the bridge. Straight down here, don't go through the grass. And you're going to come to this little pond looking area. And this right here is the den. Aracuda, really? That is the den for Gigantamax Venusaur. So again, we're going to go through that exact same method we just used to get Gigantamax Blastoise. And I assure you, we're going to get a Gigantamax Venusaur from this den. So I'm just going to grab the Watts. What do we do next? We do the hard save. Boom. Make sure you still have auto save off in case you didn't come straight here. Tech speed is still on slow. Boom. Auto save off. Double boom. And then we're going to chuck our wishing piece in. Exactly the same as we just did for the Gigantamax Blastoise. Would you want to save? Boom. It's pink. Home. X. A. On close. System settings. All the way down to system. Date and time. Flick it one day forward. Nice and easy back into the game and we're going to rinse and repeat until we get the purple beam see you then purple beam again you know it's going to be purple when it's delayed you're like that should be pink already and something just tells you don't even bother pressing home i know that's purple you saved your progress let's check what pokemon we have that is venusaur however it doesn't... That is not the Gigantamax Shadow. That is the standard Venusaur. And it's actually pretty rare for a Den to have a G-Max and a standard version of that Pokemon. This is one of those exceptions. There are a few in the original Pokemon Sword and Shield. But however, yes, this Den has both Venusaur and Gigantamax Venusaur, and I know for a fact that ain't our big undercut boy. So, what do we do? Well, we invite others, wait till it says searching, we press home, system settings, all the way down to system, date and time, and we flick it one day forward, and we're going to continue to do this until we have our big, green, overgrown, undercut, Dude, so we'll see you then. By the way, loving the DLC. I don't know about you guys, but I am hyped for this game. I knew it was going to be good. I was excited, but it's I just cannot put it down. Honestly, it is awesome.
I said it in my previous video, the overworld just seems more alive. Everything's new. There's micro environments. Everything just feels really, really good. And I feel like there's more in it than I actually thought there was going to be, which is really, really nice. I think it is also worth noting that if you did just want to catch this regular Venusaur, you can just go collect three max mushrooms, make some max soup, give it to this Venusaur, and then you got yourself a Gigantamax Venusaur. If you didn't want to keep skipping for this super rare spawn, that is another alternative. If you just want to jump straight to a Venusaur, max mushrooms, max soup, give it to this bad boy, and you, you've literally got the exact same thing. However, if you want to see Gigantamax Venusaur in that raid, invite your friends, catch it for yourself. I mean, it's about the experience personally, so that's what I'm going to do. I just thought I'd let you know that obviously that's another option you can take. We got it. <clears throat> That is the shadow for Gigantamax Venusaur, undoubtedly. You can see the huge, massive undercut. It's just like a ball bulb looking shadow. That's our boy. Let's go in and catch it. And let's have a look what it looks like inside the den. Let's switch Pokemon first to my big boy. Mazard. And uh, let's take a look at him. What's he got? In a den. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we've taken him down. It really isn't very hard. <laughs> Although I will say... Uh, G-Max, Blastoise, and Venusaur are probably the harder Pokemon to beat in the entire DLC so far. So that's Blastoise, that's Venusaur. Again, three large candies, three extra large candies, three Dynamax candies, three Armorite or a bottle cap. Hang on, we've got some berries and some mushrooms. That's different. Cool. We have Gigantamax Blastoise, Gigantamax Venusaur, both caught in dens in the wild area. Feels good. Uh, I was really, I was excited when we found out that Squirtle and Bulbasaur were going to be a part of the main story, but I just hoped that we were still going to get these bad boys in dens and we have them, which is super dope, super pumped for that. Guys, if you learned anything from this video, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos just like this one. We're going to be covering this Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC Isle of Armor extensively. So be sure to drop that sub, hit that bell so you do not miss out on any news or gaming related content. And until next time, happy gaming.